Hey folks, today is August the 13th. It's currently 537 in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our Agimat EA week number 20 live testing update and review. If you recall last week we did 0.76%. The week before that we did 1.41% and the week before that we did 1.34%. So Agimat has definitely been consistently pretty much on fire here with these weekly returns. As you were, or as you can see here, 0.76% definitely is a bit lower than what we've seen uh, in the past. I know that first 15 weeks of our live testing, Agimat was consistently between 1.3 and 1.5%. So whatever market we're in right now, if it is going to, you know, we're going to go a few weeks under 1%, I'm perfectly fine with that. And let's go ahead now and take a look and see how we did this week. One thing I do know is it's definitely important to manage our expectations. We cannot expect, you know, 1.5% uh, returns every week. And we can see this week we did 0.63%, which is definitely fine. And we can see we definitely don't have much drawdown here, which is a good thing. We'll take a look at the exact drawdown after we get into the VPS here. But so far for the month of August, we are now up 1.39%. And we still have about two and a half weeks left to go. So we'll see if we can uh, get up to that 4% mark before the month of August ends. And as I was just stating, as you can see here, April, May, June, July, Agimat for the last four months has been averaging upwards of 1.5% per week. So if it if we do have or if we are entering a slowdown period where we're only going to do, you know, 0.6 or 0.7 per week for a period before it eventually most likely goes back to the, you know, 1.3 to 1.5% per week. Perfectly fine with that. The market goes in cycles and obviously we cannot expect Agimat to be returning 1.5% Per week indefinitely there are going to be pullbacks in what we earn so that should be expected so i want to make sure you guys are not expecting you know outlandish and ridiculous you know 1.5 2 per week like clockwork so we have to expect these pullbacks guys and the only reason i mention that is because i've gotten uh emails from people about the results not being as high as they thought they would so i want to make sure you guys have tempered your expectations some and don't expect the 1.5% per week every week. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, and let's go ahead now before we jump into the VPS and before we take a look at your guys' results for the week. And before I forget, we'll come here and we can take a look at some of your guys' uh, results. I'm just going to open this up. Not going to check it yet, but we'll put it out there just so I don't forget. It's moving a little slow here. All right. And let's go ahead now and check the news for the week. So it looks like Monday, no high impact news here. Tuesday, no high impact news either. Wednesday, core CPI. And let's see here. Thursday, PPI out of the U.S. Unemployment claims. And Friday doesn't look like we had any. So a very light week with news. All right, let's go ahead now. Give me one second and I will pull up uh, this week's VPS results. All right, guys, let's first of all take a look here. Agimat, we got our smiley faces up there. Everything's looking good. Same thing there. And MyFX Books statement uploaded successfully, 813. That is today. So everything is looking as it should. And on our, okay, so 2800 looks like our account was finally able to pass that $800 mark. So our next goal is going to be uh, the 2900 mark. So we're getting very close to hitting that $3,000 mark, at which time we'll add one new currency pair. And if we come over here, we can see that we only have $13.51 in drawdown going into the weekend. So I'm definitely happy with that on a $2,800 account. And we can come down here. Take a look at this. First day of the week was the 9th. And as we can see here, we only had, looks like, five trades close out this week. Actually, I'm mistaken. The 9th starts uh, right here. So first day of the week was, okay, so we're going to count Sunday in there. 
So the eighth is actually uh, when we started closing out trades. So it's actually only four trades that we closed out for the week. And we can see we had one batch right here of two trades, $5.85 and a 15 cent win. And then we had another trade here, one trade in this one, $6 and another one trade batch or just one trade, excuse me, for $6 as well. So Azimat is definitely chugging along, doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, getting close to that $3,000 mark, at which point we'll go ahead and add one currency pair. And that'll probably, excuse me, that'll probably be the max as far as currency pairs that I add. And then I'll go ahead and add maybe another $3,000 because this has been doing so well over an extended period of time. And that'll set this account basically at uh, six thousand dollars all right let's go ahead now and take a look at your guys's results here all right as we can see here we got 11 comments let's uh, take a look here circus DJ wonderful update and review is always Larry I'm happy to report after seven weeks live trading my two accounts achieved 29 percent and 41 percent growth rates after seven weeks using the recommended IC markets, drawdown was around 30 to 35 percent. But that's because I'm using several pairs on a smaller balance, which is fine, given I'm happy to top up capital whenever needed. Thanks for your continual effort and upcoming and updating and posting reviews. Shall increase capital balances very soon. Thanks for your earlier response to my queries and explaining Ajimat. Cheers. All right. Sounds good. And like I said, once I get my account up to the three thousand dollar mark, I will go ahead and most likely uh, add one currency pair. And I'll also add another three thousand to get my balance up to the uh, six dollar, excuse me, six thousand dollar mark. And we'll just uh, continue to let it trade from there and see how it does. All right. Please let me know when you get a discount for this EA. I do have a discount code for you guys. I actually just uh, posted that. Let's go over here real quick and community all right you guys can get 25 percent off the Azimat ea by entering code right here empire 25 link will be below you guys can uh, just input that into the coupon code area and you'll get 25 percent off of the ea all right 13 percent gain since the 8th of july it closed the drawdown with a profit also very nice 1.06 profit this week green is always good Indeed, indeed. All right. Greatest EA ever, but some pairs are worse during certain months. USD CAD had 1.5K drawdown resolved and quit that pair when I had the chance. Agreed. There are certain pairs that I personally uh, will not be adding. As I've mentioned in a few of my other videos, I'm only going to be sticking to three uh, potential pairs or three pairs. All right. Hey, all. Last week, I did 1.36%. This week, 1.01% broker US based no hedging FIFO compliant account type live all six recommended pairs 1 to 50 leverage account size $60,000 alright all the GB, GBP USD trades close I went ahead and opened another account with a different broker I'm not usually keen on offshore brokers as a US citizen but decided to give it a try I'll post updates on that other account as well starting as well starting next week but the details are as follows LQDFX very nice account type live all six pairs one to 300 account type or account size 5k usd definitely look forward to seeing uh, how this account does as well all right darren ross 0.52 percent this week all right so we're kind of in the same boat there darren no doubt whatsoever but most likely things will uh, hopefully improve for us over the uh, coming weeks here but as we can see here a lot of other people are around the 1% mark as well. This week, 1.01%. So this week here, 1.06%. So it looks like uh, pretty much across the board, profits are down a little bit from previous weeks, which is like I've said earlier, no problem whatsoever. Not complaining about that at all. Anyway, I think that is everything I want to touch on in this video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever on the Adjumat EA, and the uh, trading or testing, send them my way, and I'll try to get those answered for you. And if you want to check it out and try it out for yourself, make sure you guys use the link below to support the channel. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you on the next live update. Take care, folks.